Hello and welcome to the Atma Podcast. I'm here at the currently by myself. Jordan is gone for a piss, but he will be here momentarily. And Dan will be joining us in just a little while. He did say just start like near a five. And he'll pop on when he's home. So hopefully he'll be here soon. But yeah, hopefully everyone's doing all right wherever you're listening and watching from. You can see uh, Jack has joined us. Hello, boys. Hello, Jack. Hello. Hope you're doing well, mate. Ashton, hope you're doing well also. Up the Atma. I hope you're all well. We're all good. Well, I can only speak for myself because I'm currently the only one here. Yeah, Jordan said he needs to go to the toilet. Need a piss. This is the longest piss that I've ever heard in my life. It's all right, though. It's all right because we're going to be talking about some uplifting stuff today. The possibility of um, another pandemic, maybe. I don't know. But I'll, I will start with a different story first because it's, it's quite amusing. Big P. In the house, always good to see you, mate. Been a loyal, loyal supporter of the channel. Much love yeah. from uh, Australia. So, everyone, just want to let you know, right? We're probably not going to have another COVID. It's probably not happening, but it could. We'll get into it later on. First story, what we'll talk about is um, based around uh, North Korea and their, I want to say hatred, but more like um, dislike of genes. We'll go into it. Go into it because it just. It, I literally found this story about five minutes before coming on here, and I just, I just got to share it. It, it is quite funny. Uh, Bex, hello, um, Stone Alien. Hey, first live live pod in a while. I haven't seen the chat. To be fair, for a while, so welcome, uh, Zembas. Hello, and Lunzar bro. Is that? Did I say that right? Lunzar bro. There you go. Hello, hello everyone. If you are listening to this or watching this back on demand, you know maybe if you can join a live stream, get your get your comments in live. Um, we do often answer questions live, so if you've got a burning question, ask it. See what happens. Kez, good evening, lads. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm good. I hope you're good too. Tom Worthington, up the Atma. L Holland, good eve, Loza. I haven't been called Loza in a while. Lozzy. Many different spellings of Lozzy, but Loza's a new one, relatively new. But thank you. I'm good. I hope everyone's good. Is he back? Yeah, sorry. He's, he's shimmying in. That was fucking scary. Uh, was it not a piss? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, he went for a porcelain smash. All right. And, hey, Jesus Christ. That's it. Oh, the size of a fucking grapefruit. Jesus. Too much information, that. Well, beside the hemorrhoids, how's it going? That's it. I was scared for a second there. I would be too. I was fucking petrified. But yeah, Nass, nice. it's all good. All good. Good stuff. What have you been up to today? Uh, just work. Um, are you off? Are you got um, the bank holidays off? Yes. Yeah. So I'm off for four. It's nice. Four day week, four days off, four day week. There you go. And then I'm off again in a couple of, for, for two days in, uh, I think, two weeks' time. Because. Um, I'm going to Birmingham uh, to see Hans Zimmer. Ah, yes. Yeah. Jealousy. Excited for that. It's going to be fucking sick. Birmingham. A fine city, some say. That's it. But yeah, no, but no, all good, mate. Um, Obviously, I don't reveal what I do for work. Yeah. I'm a secret agent, but... MI5. Um, my skills are being utilized in the near future. Um, because I will be doing some video marketing for the company, so yeah. Um, and they're buying a gimbal that I'm hoping to uh Ah. acquire for investigations. That would be cool to have a gimbal, to be fair. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's it's going well. Nice. How? What have you been up to? I went to the gym this morning, as I normally do on the Thursday mornings. Um, did a full body sesh. Um, probably went a bit too hard on legs, to be honest. So I'm regretting that. But I'm also wearing, I don't know if you've ever worn one before. It's underneath my shirt, but it's like a posture correction thing. You've got a posture correction shirt? Yeah. I don't, I, it's not a shirt. It's actually like a, a sort of, it's not a brace. I don't know what you call it. It goes around your shoulders and around the, you know, around your back. It's like pulling you backwards. Yeah. Yeah. I've never worn one before. Just, I, I think uh, my partner had it just randomly and I thought, fuck it. I'll wear it, see if it actually does anything. But it's really itching the fuck out of my um, armpits. Is it? I suppose if I wore it over the shirt, it might not do that. But then it looks yeah. a bit stupid. But anyway, yeah. Oh. Just because I feel like, I haven't looked at my posture and gone, yeah, that's fucking, that's shit. But I know it's probably not great. So, yeah. Let's try and see what happens. Why not? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I just want to answer a couple of rumors in the chat. Uh, Pets at home, James brought you back. Absolutely fucking not. I would uh, rather not be on this planet than go back there. Um, Why does Jordan give me? vibes of working in insurance um that's incorrect because i have a soul um so <laughs> yeah maybe it's just like the 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 collar maybe this is like given like you know yeah them vibes but um no no it's not um i would say and i'm sure you would agree uh Loz, that like from a moral and ethics standpoint my new job is actually uh on the side of good, isn't it? Yeah. Very, I mean, very much so. I would you'd probably be in several people's good books, I would say. More than several, to be fair. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Estate agent vibes, that's an insult. Jesus. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's insurance. Estate well, agent open house. That's it. Um, uh, I haven't I've worked in insurance for six months and it does it is just Soul destroying, yeah, but yeah, but um, yeah, no, I mean, I don't, I'll, I'll probably just fucking come out of it at some point. I don't even know why I'm kind of keeping on right. Like I said, I just kind of shared so much over the last 10 years, I just wanted this to myself, sort of thing, yeah. So, yeah, but, uh, what's the uh, point about another pandemic's around the corner? I maybe, not. But first, I want to just discuss. I found this five minutes before coming on. As North Korea do not like jeans, as in denim jeans. Oh. Uh, this came around because I saw an article. Um, do you know who Alan Titmarsh is? Yeah, the gardener guy. Oh, uh, well, yeah. So randomly, I saw this article where North Korean television had censored Alan Titmarsh's jeans on a old BBC program that they'd blatantly just stolen and put on their national TV um, from about 2010. I think this was shown or aired originally. In, and they've just blurred out his jeans. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show the picture. It's, it's like pretty low quality. But I'll show you the picture. Yeah, they've just blurred out his jeans. What? Why? So apparently, denim jeans, I'll keep it on screen actually, Apparently, uh, denim jeans are a, a sign of Western civilization that they don't like. Right. So I I guess it's like a, an American thing. Like, you know, you think about jeans, some like snake boots, a cowboy hat. That's like the stereotypical country American look. Yeah. Because other than that, I don't really see why the hate is there for jeans. Because, um, I mean, obviously, it's probably not a fashionable item in North Korea. Not that there is any fashion in North Korea, I'd imagine. Um, oh, it's North Korea, not South yes. Korea. Yeah, sorry, North Korea. I don't know if I said North Korea in the first place. But yeah. But apparently, they uh, they censor his jeans. I When I first looked at the picture, I thought, right. 
I didn't know Alan Titmarsh was packing, right? Yeah. Because I just assumed it was going to be, oh, you could see his, uh, his pain through the uh, jeans. Yeah. And, uh, it, it's it's the, the garment itself. They don't like jeans. I so, see. Blurred it. So strange. Have you, like, there's like a, uh, like a map of all the places where like that are involved in making jeans and like one oh, right. pair of jeans are made across like six countries or some shit jesus yeah pair of wranglers the denim making process is very long apparently mm. hard wearing yeah western oh. civilization sorry but yeah i just thought that was it just made me laugh a little bit don't know why that's that's the one thing they choose I, it just makes no sense. One, why put the fucking program on national North Korean TV? Yeah. If the very guy who is basically the centerpiece of that program is wearing a, what could be considered, according to them, as like a symbol of Western civilization that they don't like. Just Yeah, I know. You've gone to all that trouble to bootleg it and then show it on national TV. Crazy. But anyway... Um, are we having another COVID? One more look at Tip Marsh's bulge, and then we'll go. Nice. There you go. Yeah, are we having another COVID? Basically, uh, maybe. That's the the kind of thought, really. There's not a lot. It's not like we're, this article is not saying that we're like imminent another COVID. I think they're just saying that because of certain factors around the world, especially global warming. Um, it becomes an environment for things like that becomes more likely in more places. Um, so I've got some information on previous um, things like the Spanish flu, HIV, AIDS, like death toll from that and COVID-19, which parallels in comparison to the two things I just mentioned COVID does. Um, I think Spanish flu killed like 50 million people. Yeah. And COVID, I think, is killed six globally, six million people. But yeah, we'll, we'll just go through. Six million people had COVID attributed as their death anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're talking about also Spanish flu was from like 1918 to 1920, the height of that. How good were their records as well, to be fair? Mm. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to read a bit of the article. Obviously, we will talk about covid times because covid is like a tale of two stories one obviously it was shit you couldn't really go and see people because of the lockdowns but there were some positives um because war zone in covid days was lit it was good i did enjoy it but yeah i would have rather seen my family as well do you know what i mean yeah so dan's here so we're gonna lob him in How's it going, mate? Uh, all good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Sweet. Okay, so just set up a new little... Have you moved again? <laughs> I moved again, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, I'm, I'm slowly... My my space is slowly becoming smaller and smaller. Uh, and I'm in a little recess now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still got a shelf next to you though. You can put some stuff on there. Not only shelf, even that, even that has shrank. And it's uh, yeah. Not the shelf anymore. It's half the shelf. But I've got half my books. I haven't read half of them. I just never can get into reading, to be honest. I just much prefer watching films and TV and playing games. Yeah. But each to their own. Uh before we go any further, just to keep get you up to speed then um we're talking about the possibility of there being another covid like pandemic um around the corner okay uh just talking about how weird of a time it was as well covid we did some really weird shit that mm. i don't think if this was to arise again that a lot of people would not do again um, yeah 100%. Even, even if we're told to i just don't think it would yeah. especially by this government I, I, I refuse to believe they could pull off another lockdown. I think yeah. that so many people would just fuck it off. Because yeah, 
it just you know it's just it was just a countermeasure that i don't really think was necessary mm. and i think countries like uh, was it finland or sweden that just sweden, didn't lock yeah. down and they sweden. were kind of fine they were fine like they had the same like herd herd immunity and just did it that way and it was just fine yeah yeah there's a uh... Lot to be said in about all that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's quite funny. I, I think I have like some form of like oh, PTSD is obviously a ridiculous thing to say, but it's the only thing that I can think to describe. Like, <clears throat> if I watch like uh, a TV series or uh, a YouTube video um, or a movie where they're wearing masks, I like I basically can't watch it. Like, when I was on holiday in Thailand, uh, <clears throat> we had like youtube on at night and i got into this guy can't remember his his, uh, his channel but basically he's in america and he'd do some like you know he'd just like go into the uh the mountains and just camp for like four days like you know and shit like that and i was absolutely loving it and then just one episode uh it was like four years ago and it was in 2020 and he was doing all of his like COVID pass shit and he was wearing his mask and that. And I was like, I don't want to fucking watch this. Even though it was literally just him, like the first two, three minutes of the video, him in civilization, then leaving to go camping. I was like, I, I just thinking back to those times, I was just like, just the mask shit just fucking annoys me. Like it, it, it just like, cause I just would never want that kind of loss of control on my life again yeah and even just like the small things like i remember one day you know going to the shops everyone's got masks on and just thinking like this is probably like you know months and months in and just thinking like fucking hell but like, i haven't seen someone smile <laughs> in a shop in public in fucking months mm. yeah. you know and i remember thinking about and i'm sure you'll be able to to uh uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word, Dan. Uh, relate to this more than I possibly could. But I remember also, you know, being in Tesco or whatever, everyone's got masks. And then seeing kids like two, three years old and just thinking that must be so confusing for them. Mm. Or like maybe five, six, where they remember before COVID. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, just everyone is just all got masks on. You can't see people's faces anymore. You, you know, you can't read emotion on people. It was just such shit time. I hate. I hate. It, it was. It was weird. It was, it, was, so uh, weird. it was definitely weird. I remember the, the. You know, remember the queuing where you had to stand a meter away Mental. from everyone outside, outside the in the shop. And I remember. I mean, I think it was raining, and we're and there's a queue for my local budgeons. There wasn't actually that many people, but maybe I don't. Know, it's twenty or thirty, but because it was like two in yeah two in that people had at a time yeah like, even all the, i just i was just out in the rain and i'm thinking probably gonna get ill from yeah being out still in the rain <laughs> like the moron in the queue yeah um, which is ironic <laughs> yeah I, I remember as well that i, I had to go to the doctor's surgery during covid and i'd speak to someone through a window um because i weren't allowed in the foyer in the reception area and they were like giving out in the piss and rain. They were giving out like the, I didn't get a prescription, but I saw someone have their prescription handed to them, and it was just like mush in their hands by the time they'd gotten it because mm. they'd put it through a window. So that's yeah. the best you can do, is it really? Yeah. Just... If you if you ever uh, there's a social experiment they did with a load of students, I believe, and they they split them up so all equal, uh, and they split them up half and half, and they they put them in a prison and half of them were guards yeah. and half of oh, them the Stanford experiment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think you've covered it on your video. Yeah. Now. But like, so that experiment obviously, you know, is, is about the power going to there. But I noticed that in COVID people who all, all of a sudden had authority and power yeah. to, to make you do stuff. Uh, and it just, you know, most people are lovely, but there was, there was definitely people who got this power, like just weird stuff. Like, making you move and do things and not not talk and like just yeah again because they had the they had the power to almost you know like the you know shop 
shopkeepers and just different people just yeah. it was really interesting it was like this is this is bizarre like even yeah, just yeah i met one she, what woman it's about paying my card she she was like i can't remember what it was but she she made me move like uh, i had to go away and do something and then even though the car machine was right next to her, i was in the wrong place or something and she was like i mean she's probably dealing with it all day but she was uh yeah, she wasn't happy but yeah, just a lot of people all of a sudden had massive authority to just, you know, like keep you in line. It felt very, yeah. it felt very, um, you know, you watch these films and they're like, they're all like robotic and they're all, they're all like abiding and like, it's, yeah. it felt yeah. all very like you're in a queue and you, you don't move, you know, like you see these videos in like China and stuff. It felt very much like that. Like, yeah, I, it's opium. yeah and it's like, okay, we're, we're doing bits to, not spread a disease or whatever a cold uh, whatever it is we, you know we're all trying our best not to spread it but uh yeah some of the stuff is just dumb and you just like people are just making you do stuff because yeah. they can yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. it's fucking ridiculous man a Crazy. lot of that stuff especially as now i understand well possibly that you know, obviously it was uh, it was unknown territory, and they were making up as they went along. And you'd like to think they had the best interests at heart, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I'm pretty sure, like you know, those government the governing agencies, whatever they're you know, like, who WHO, what you know, that that sort of like who were kind of making all the decisions medically, mm. have come out since and said that the social distancing thing was basically irrelevant, really, in hindsight. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then I, I remember fucking one woman at Sainsbury's. This was a couple of days after they dropped the social distancing thing. Yeah, and uh, I was shopping with Maya, and we were pulling up to a till, and basically Maya was pushing the trolley. I was in front of the trolley to sort of like, so you know to put it all on the conveyor belt because I was in front of the trolley. This woman in front, she was packing her shit. And because, like, what, the length of a trolley is, like, a metre and a half, right? She was like, whoa, 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 get back. That's within two metres. I'm here with my daughter, who didn't have a mask on. So if you give that much of a shit, put a mask on her. Oh, what are you doing? I was like, right, first of all, calm the fuck down. Second of all, this social distance and shite was dropped three days ago. Mm. So what? don't scream at me in a fucking shop. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you yeah. Know. It, it gave those those Karens were in yeah, there. Yeah, like, like, what the fuck? But it was, it was also like a fucking match to like kindling yeah. for people who are paranoid. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's just like the paranoia just went through the roof and then you yeah. get the scenario that George just talked about all the time where you'd have someone screaming at you because you're not following a rule or something that they want done to stop them possibly getting ill. And it's like, I really don't think that me standing like four inches to the left of you is going to stop you getting whatever's going around. Like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make, it doesn't compute. It doesn't make sense. I'm sure there's probably somewhere, some person will say, analyze it and say, well, if you stood this far away from someone, the chances of them getting infected with you coughing or something like that is reduced by x amount of percent i just don't think it logically makes sense and it also doesn't logically make sense for someone to scream at you mm. if you're within a meter and a half of them like but also the if you cared that much about the safety of you and your daughter why isn't your daughter i know the children didn't have to but if you cared that much you're going to scream at a stranger in sainsbury's surely Fucking hell, your child would have a mask on, marigolds, a fucking hazmat suit, like, you know, chill the fuck out, you know, Jesus Christ. And I was, but it was just absolutely mental. You know, um, I remember a period as well when you couldn't even say the word. You couldn't say COVID on any plan. Probably, you know, it, you literally couldn't say the word, which is yeah. mental. But um, also, you know, you know, the thing, another like experiment where they do where, you know, if you believe something is bad or that you're going to get something that's going to make you really ill, that your brain already kind of gets you there because people are so scared of it. And I know yeah. I, I I got it and I was ill, and but I just wonder, I wonder if that played any part where people were like that scared of getting what 
what could you know they could have got a cold which would show the same symptoms but they, they were so kind of worried that they've got this thing that that they everyone's so scared about that it made him ill. I don't know yeah quite possibly I, I wouldn't be surprised at all like some sort of like negative placebo like mm. just to just to exacerbate it without a doubt but it's just fucking oh man and like you were saying about like you couldn't say it and stuff. I remember when it first kind of happened. And obviously I know that I'm, I'm into conspiracy theories and that. But I'm also incredibly fucking logical. Mm-hmm. And I, I did a video um, about like COVID theories. Some of them were just, you know, fucking stupid. Having a bit of fun like the 5G fucking masks and shit. But I was sort of like, you know, in <laughs> mid-2020, a cancelable offence... And a racist thing to say, apparently, isn't now, by the way, was that COVID came from the Wuhan Biological Weapon Testing Facility, which Uh, specializes in SARS and COVID. If you said that, no, you're racist, that's disgusting, what are you doing? It come from a meat market. Now, it's like, yeah, yeah, actually, apparently it did come from that biological chemical warfare testing facility in the same city where COVID originated and they specifically focus on SARS and COVID like no fucking shit. But the fact that they suppress that information to a point where, you know, if you said that you're disgusting, you, you, you're disrespecting the people that are dying, you're racist, blah, blah, blah. And then a few years later, it's like, no, actually that is factual information. It's just fucking mental. Well, yeah, people you know. in China, were, there was reports of like doctors and people who were saying that like, getting killed, wasn't there? Yeah, like, yeah. literally getting yeah. taken out or dying from the, you know, the virus. Yeah, oh, like yeah. like the the first the first people. So the first people actually hospitalized with COVID was in September 2019, and they were employees at that research facility. I don't know. Yeah. That's like six months before COVID hit everywhere. Yeah. It's just fucking so, oh man. But yeah, the whole COVID and and lockdown thing just fucking winds me up. I'm just glad. I think it was a big thing for, for like my mental health and stuff. Genuinely, I do mean this, that we had that completely legal loophole because the government literally came out and said that for, it was something, it was the, they said it in Parliament, didn't they? That it was like for media purposes, entertainment purposes, yeah, filming yeah, yeah, purposes. Yeah. If you have a studio, you could so we could continue the podcast. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. In that second lockdown, so we had permission from the government yeah, to yeah. film our podcast, which was fucking. You know, it was just a great fucking escape. But do you remember last? Because obviously, we had to drive. Yeah, I was going to say this. Cambridge. The roads were fucking oh, dead. Empty, yeah. I was driving around because our factory was still operating and, yeah. and uh, I got a green light from the council because I, I was like, look, it's a 6,000 square foot factory. Yeah. Six of us in there. We've got a 1,000 square foot each off segregated into areas. I was like, that's more than any house old. And, and then I was like, look at all the fa- Amazon factories. And yeah. Like, and the employees yeah. Were there. I was like, they've got like literally, you know, probably 20 square foot. Uh, so we got the green light to, to operate. Um, and yeah, so that, yeah, it was, it was mad, but driving in and out was crazy. Cause it was just everywhere. It was dead. It was, it was quite a nice experience. Like though, just cause it was a bit, you know, like you always think about zombie. Movie yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. It, it kind of, I think that's, that's why well, that's the closest I've ever felt like towards it. Like an actual apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate, I will never, ever, ever, ever forget the night when fucking Boris Johnson came on the screen mm. just, like, doing, like, a fucking 28 days later speech yeah. about how we're going into lockdown. That's fucking insane. It, when you think right now, it's it's mental, like, locked in your houses. Yeah. Locked away. Like, I again, now, I think and the, the mayor have cried wolf with the last one because I, th- I think if anything comes along now, no one will... There'll be a, a large percentage who just won't take it seriously or think that, nah, you know, th- than there was before. And if something yeah. bad does come along where it does start wiping out quite yeah, large works. percentages, like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll be screwed. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what did make me fucking laugh though was that like McDonald's remained open, but they wouldn't open the gyms. Which, by the way, that for like the yeah. two weeks that they did open the gym and then fucking close them again, um, that was the cleanest thing I'd ever been in in my fucking life because they were so over the top. Like everyone had to pick up a fucking anti bat yeah, 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 yeah. bottle and yeah. cough each. Yeah. You know, clean it before, clean it afterwards. Yeah, like yeah, you could, yeah. I, I would have fucking eaten off the floor in that gym. Yeah. It was that clean. And then they closed it again. And it was just like, oh, for fuck's sake. But you can go down to McDonald's and get a triple cheese, though. So where's the fuck? You know, I think the one, probably one of the biggest times in modern history that exercise was needed for, I know obviously you can go outside and run and shit, but exercise was needed for people's mental health and they just closed all the gyms. Fucking ridiculous. Uh, There were so many, so many weird loopholes. Like you said, all the, you know, the fact that Amazon ran throughout, I think, like yeah. one day, um, you know, kind of says it all, really. Um, but yeah. th- those those companies were fucking loving it, though, because they knew that the vast majority of their competition or even even people who sold things on, like, Etsy or stuff like that or on eBay, they couldn't operate in the same way yeah. anymore. 100%. So Amazon was just like, we're fucking raking it in. And yeah. we're going to post massive profits. Yeah, and people were bored at home just buying shit. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. yeah, they made they made more profits over COVID than than like any other time. Which yeah. is just mental. You think about a pandemic that hits across the globe, yet they've managed to make a profit in a time where people just didn't basically panic. Yeah, it's crazy. But nah, I, you know, I can't. I'm not going to say I made the fucking profits of Amazon, but I can't sit like a hypocrite. Like COVID was was like statistically the best thing that ever happened to my YouTube career. Yeah, yeah. everyone was sat at home bored. Yeah, yeah. but it's mad that you just said that, Lars. Like globally, like that. Like obviously, the worst. You know, Sweden was one of the countries, probably some of us. But the whole world, the whole world, yeah. shut down. Yeah. Like, at one point, the like, the whole, like they managed to fucking lock. That's insane. Lock the whole world in their houses. Yeah, like, you can't even if you were tasked with doing that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, over fucking something that, that like you know, yeah, well, it was it was bad, but oh, I don't know. Just it shows. Yeah, you look at other stats that you know, like um, the plague and stuff. Yeah, like, imagine if that shit happened now. But it shows that COVID as a weapon worked because the whole mm. idea of COVID as a as a biological weapon is to destabilize a country and it destabilize the fucking world. So, yeah. you know, it's fucking, yeah. it's, it's absolutely insane. It is absolutely. At least there's no insane. wars. No wars would have been, you know, like if it happened now, yeah. like Fuck all me. the Ukraine and all that would obviously they just like, would they cease? I don't know. It, weird yeah, isn't it oh yeah it's really weird it's really weird to think do you know fucking um so thailand legalized cannabis yeah um and every other shop or every other building in thailand is a cannabis shop now right oh, okay. and and they they released everyone from prison who was arrested for cannabis related things and stuff oh, like shit. that right and they did that Apparently, we were talking to um, one of the locals. They did that because Thailand didn't do furlough. So COVID basically crippled the Thai economy. Right. So they legalized weed and said, you can sell it as much as you want to yeah. you know, get back on track. Yeah. And then they want to now illegalize it again. Oh, right. Man. But the problem that they would have, I'm telling you now, is because every other fucking shop in that yeah. country is a weed shop, yeah. it would just destroy the economy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, I didn't yeah. I did not know because I always knew that in Thailand, like, I mean, I, I was watching the videos of it. If you got caught, there's a girl who got locked up in prison for 30 days because she got caught with a joint. This is about like 15 years ago or something. Yeah. Like, and now it's, yeah, it's it, legal you know, now. It blows my mind. It's legal because yeah. they didn't have furlough. Mental. So just everyone smoking weed everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so it's the new Amsterdam shops everywhere. What oh, one eighty selling all sorts. Proper, yeah, because it, it it was probably the strictest place in in the world when it comes maybe not in the world, but when it comes to like yeah, to weed, it was so given what you can get away with in Thailand, like they were so strict on on drugs. Oh, what, yeah. are, are they sort of they change their like you know class a and stuff is it is that kind of change i'm not sure i'm yeah. not sure but yeah no literally you just go past like a department store and it's just like buy kosamui ak-47 it's like whoa <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. yeah it's crazy but yeah no it's just um yeah because of covid was it good i sorry to go off tangent but was was thailand good thailand was awesome yeah, yeah. thailand was fantastic um absolutely loved it it's just mad like you know obviously flights are expensive but you you go outside of your hotel and then you can get like a full dinner like a fucking lovely full dinner for like four quid yeah yeah it's, it's mad, just it? absolutely insane yeah That's but that, much and then the weather was fantastic um the UV rays were fucking nuts. I've never seen anything like it. The The highest the UV was uh, in Thailand was 16, which I've only seen seven in the UK. Yeah, yeah. And 12 is a sunbed, which yeah. you're only allowed ah. to be in for 20 minutes maximum. Jesus. Jesus. So, yeah. But no, it was fucking awesome. I, I, I just want to go back again um, mm. for a little bit longer. Um this time but yeah no it's fucking quality but we left um myers because we went with, went with myers family and we left myers brother and his girlfriend out there they're traveling across asia for three months oh nice yeah he's currently in vietnam i think yeah um, no. yeah very, very jealous mm. but um yeah I've got a couple of, I've got obviously I've got a plan for the next couple of years, two, three years, but I'm thinking after that, maybe take like six months or some six months out and just go somewhere. Yeah. Traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's just fucking awesome. Where would you like to travel? Um, I would like to do Asia. I think I just really like the people. I think that you know, especially Thai people. Thai people are so nice. Mm-hmm. They're just so polite and just happy to see you. You know, and um, but yeah, mm-hmm. a bit of Asia. Um, I would actually quite like to do Route sixty six as well. To be honest, yeah, I know it's a bit stereotypical. It's cliche, yeah, but cliche, that's that's it, yeah, but it's. Um, I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool. But yeah. 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 yeah go traveling that's what you want yeah sounds good just but will we be able to in the avoid future avoid wuhan that's it yeah. <laughs> yeah avoid the place where it originated from allegedly possibly maybe fucking hell i don't know if you can still get in trouble for saying that probably in somewhere somewhere probably in wuhan. yeah I Can't think the, the crazy thing is, I think if you did now, you'd be like a martyr rather than a fucking... <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know. I think you'd be held up by the masses as a legend. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the other thing. Like, I think people, you know, because it deeply affected so many people. I think it just fucked everyone off. Mm. Yeah. You know? And they just don't want to be treated like that again, which I think is perfectly okay to say mm. and to do, you know. Yeah, Especially yeah. like thinking about, I mean, it originated from China, but China probably had the worst set of rules combined with the social credit score fucking thing they've got, where you're like tracked every millimeter of your journey from home to the shops, it's tracked with cameras. And if you're like out for too many hours, you're like, almost apprehended and then forcibly taken to your home where you're locked up and you yeah. just like you had like sets of people their entire job was to make sure that people who were suspected of being infected didn't come out of their homes and it's yeah. just like that's another level mm. to what we had and i was fucked off with what we had so i can't imagine what it would have been like in living in china 
Yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy. But I do agree. If anything like this happens ever again, there's no way that I would think the vast majority of people who had access to go outside and could do beforehand will just take notice of what the government said. I highly doubt it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I would probably go as far to say there'll be a lot of people if there was, you know, let's think of the next pandemic coming up, there's a vaccine for it. I would probably go as far to say there'd be easily 25% less people getting the vaccine. Oh, cause I yeah. just don't think I need it. Like, yeah. He's, he, he's yeah. I, I, re- I regret deeply getting it. Literally. If I hadn't have needed it to go on holiday, yeah. I wouldn't have got it. hundred yeah, percent. I think that was most people's. Yeah. People's re- were like, no, not most people. But there, lot, I know a lot of people that got it just go away on holiday. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise yeah. I wouldn't have got it. I was thinking, you know, like if you think of China with a, obviously they got more technology, haven't they implemented to, to do all this tracking and different stuff. So like yeah. imagine in the future with lockdowns, when you got the likes of AI, like being able to track your face, maybe right. look at if you're yeah. like sweating or you've got a temperature or whatever, like that's mm. going to be awful. That'll be, you yeah. know, when yeah. maybe you can use technology to literally shame people and lock them away. Because oh, yeah. we we kind of had the technology in a sense because we had that fucking shite app um, that yeah. the NHS were pushing. And it was basically yeah. like, I'm going to dob you in mm. if you break the rules. It would like incentivize people to report yeah. other people breaking the rules. Yeah. yeah. That- and it was like, oh, someone that was at the restaurant that you were at had COVID. So now you cannot leave your house for two weeks. Yeah, yeah, mad, isn't it? Mental. You're not that. even ill. I remember that yeah. was weird people like you've been in contact. We're not gonna tell you who, but there was someone somewhere that was ill, and now you've got to stay in your house for two yeah. weeks. Like, I mean, like, yeah, some it's people must have loved sad, it, you know? but most people would have hated it. Yeah, yeah. So I, that. I did see. I don't know if this is real. Um, it was on X, um, which. Well, still baffles me as to that's why he calls it that name but anyway um there's a video of a chinese government employee and it was a basically a cctv view of this office full of people and they're all being tracked they got like green squares around them when they're sat at their desk this woman gets up from her desk and the square turns red and starts flashing and she gets gets up from her desk and talks to someone up from their desk. Um, and the caption said something along the lines of, whether you can believe it or not, is um, up for debate. But anyway, it said that it, it tracks how long she is away from her desk and she will be docked pay, apparently, for if she goes over a limit of, like, a few seconds. Fucking hell. Which is crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's fucking mad. It's it's like the the you know all the facial recognition stuff and social credit store score is it social credit score in China? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They're saying how it's just like going so black mirror, whereby if you in the future, I don't know if it's now or in the future, um, if you like hang around with or socialize with someone with a lower status or score, it brings yours down. So yeah, that alienates right. people with a lower score. Yeah, because that's if now. you want is it now? So that's if you now. want to be held in high esteem with your credit score, social credit score or rating, whatever, you can't say, I don't know what the numbers are, but say you're a five hundred and you go talk to a two hundred, it'll bring yours down. That is literally black mirror, isn't it? It's just yeah. Yeah. black mirror. Nuts. Literally that absolutely is absolutely insane. Carbon copy of yeah. Black Mirror, which I'm that's... sure is probably based on well, yeah. yeah so fucking... yeah it's fucking yeah it's fucking nuts i wonder really? what yeah why not if you do a podcast with someone uh, I, 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 we'd have our little numbers in the corner yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, we've already mentioned wuhan so we're fucked yeah, yeah oh, exactly. they, they definitely wouldn't come on here jesus they'd be like yeah. they, they wouldn't even be able to go out the house yeah do you know what i think just wow well, just what annoyed me as well with 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 Cope. like i understand like i get it right it was a pandemic and stuff we're trying to stop the spread and shit right but i and obviously i fully understand with elderly and vulnerable people i get that but i'm not being funny yeah if i have a cold 
I won't go and see my nan because I'm not a fucking idiot. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's sort of like, but I think people do that anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're ill, you don't go see someone that is vulnerable. You don't go see someone with, you know, if I had a chest infection, I wouldn't go and hang around with my friend who has severe asthma. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And and like, in bed. If you're ill, lie in bed. To get yeah. Like yeah. that's that. It's kind of like self. You know that it, it's most people in the real world are just until they're better. Yeah, they. they yeah, go, you, you can't you kind of do isolate yourself. Yeah. Rather than like, okay, everyone fucking stop. Yeah. Because you might get ill. You know, one of the fucking. I think I've mentioned this before. One of the harshest fucking wake up calls was because uh, my mum took it very seriously. It was absolutely fine. But I went and fucking saw her, you know, because you could drive and see someone from your car window or whatever on my birthday. And my mum refused to give me a hug because of these fucking COVID rules on my birthday. And I was like, this is fucking weird, man. Mm, like, what yes, the yes. actual fuck? Like, they have convinced my mother to not give me a fucking hug on my birthday because there is an invisible killer disease somewhere that no one can see. It's mm. just like fucking wow. You know, that was shit. That was I was like, fucking, this is crap. But yeah, it's just fucking insane, man. It's I think we crazy. talked about this actually at the time. And, and uh, had, if there was no technology anywhere, we wouldn't have even known about COVID. Yeah. Cause like, I don't remember really seeing you know, you chat to some people do get ill in chat to them, but obviously you chat to people and they get ill all the time. Um, I don't know, yeah. If you take if you take out social media and the internet and all that, if you I'd like definitely make would, it would work. we have known about it? You know, no. it swept across on so many different levels. Like, you know, you wouldn't have seen on fucking Facebook that they're going mental over toilet rolls, so you need to get down there and get more fucking toilet roll. You know, you just yeah. wouldn't have seen any of that shite. Yeah. It probably wouldn't have even been documented in history anywhere, would it? Because it was like, I remember the year before there was like 50, we had 50,000 deaths or something for, mm. for the cold. We had a really bad cold like, mm. flu epidemic before, yeah. um, like literally the year before. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, God knows if it was, it probably wouldn't even got noticed. No, nah, it's, it's mm. just weird. what a fucking weird time that was to be alive. It's fucking. I just like you know you say well this episode is there another pandemic I fucking hope not because even if like you know people do ignore the lockdowns or whatever it's still you know just these 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 things a killing people and b you know these infringements on your fucking on your right to freedom yeah defies the the community doesn't it the the, the, yeah. yeah People, like I said, people treat it differently and have their own opinions about it. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like, if you're acting from your base knowledge, but, but you can be a spreader, and then you can, you're almost victimized for not following yeah. the rules where yeah. people are not believing it. Yeah. But also, when they, I mean, they try to just push some really fucking dodgy shit as well. Like that fucking training cyber shit blew my fucking mind when they were like, oh, if you're if you're creative and you can't do your job at the moment. And they gave the example of like a fucking ballerina. They were like, now is the time to retrain into into cyber. It's like, so you want to kill people's creativity. You want to take yeah. creative people and put them in a cubicle. Like what the fuck is going on? Oh, I saw a woman on there on the main news, like giving an update of what you could what you could do, and she was like, "Go swimming outside, swimming ponds, <laughs> swimming fucking ponds." Swear to God, on the news, it was like you can swim in the outdoors ponds, and I was just like, "If you're not ill from COVID, you're gonna get ill swimming in the pond." Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. yeah. Fish. You'd, have, you'd have people just like, what about the fish? You're infected with COVID. Swimming in the pond. I tell you what, right? I know that they didn't fucking help the media because they spread it like fucking wildfire. But you know that like BBC News 24 7. Mm. Yeah. Could you imagine being on a fucking like eight hour presenting shift where you're just cycling through the same four fucking stories? You're just constantly talking about these fucking death statistics for COVID. And that's yeah. all you're talking about 
all day, every day. It's the, it you gets know, at your job. They were like comparing it to previous days at some point. They were like going, Oh, last week we had this yeah, many deaths yeah. from COVID. This week, not so much. Oh, we had a spike this week. So it's it's like you can never escape that news because yeah. like you say, oh, day in, day out, it's just the only thing on TV. What's mental yeah. is the I mean, there was it was front page news and it was it was on it was the biggest news. there was a party in Birmingham for like thirty people and it was fucking just national news like yeah. I, I'm so, it was like height of luck day and then there were like everyone was going mental but like and I was, I just remember looking at it and thinking there's a party nothing's happened yeah. at the party thirty people have met together and it's made front page news yeah. given the fact now what we know what all the politicians were doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Like, yeah, it was fucking nuts. It's yeah, like, that's, like, you, I think that's another reason why people would just wouldn't fucking yeah. listen anymore. They'd be like, yeah, you, can, yeah. you can absolutely get fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. You, you, not only did you not listen to your own rules, you've literally been recorded at a party mocking the fact that we listened to the shit you made up. I know. Oh, like you can fuck yeah, absolutely get fucked. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean that's why people hate politicians and don't trust yeah. them for the no. shit like that. No. Yeah. Like Matt Hancock is just a fucking twat. Like the the fact he's got like some sort of you know uh career in television since. But I think there should be a fucking national holiday when the prick dies. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's just like I don't, I don't fucking. He's the biggest. He's one of the biggest fucking twats going because he yeah. was. He was just taking. He he was coming up with these rules and knowingly not breaking following them. them, breaking them, having a laugh that we were fucking following them. You know, you had people dying in hospital alone. Whilst he was shagging his fucking PA, it's just it's just absolutely insane, you know. I was like, I didn't see it, but apparently I, he went on um, SAS Who Dares Wins. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, they fucking gave it to him. Apparently, yeah, yeah I watched that. I saw him on that, and then I saw him on um, I'm a celeb. I'm a bit a bit on there, yeah. But as, again, people watch that shit because they just want to see him get hurt because they don't yeah. like him. So it's like. It's an easy, it's an easy, um, like I said, it gives them a platform because people like, they all hate him. And it's like, this, I don't want to, you know, see him be in pain or do stuff that's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas he just shouldn't be really given the time of day. So it's just a waste, yeah. man. Yeah, he fucking is. But yeah, oh, it's just fucking, it's just all, wow. Well, Politicians. Something that happened, didn't it? Fuck me. It definitely is. Jesus, what if you know something that we'll always look back on and be like, well, that was different. I, to be fair, I can't believe it's four years ago now. That's yeah, mental. Yeah. That feel it doesn't feel, like it does feel long ago, but it, it also feels like it's gone really quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, it does. I remember what was it? It was probably around this sort of time last like, I think it was yeah, it would have been March. 2020 when we had the first lockdown announced it was much yeah much yeah, so yeah literally four years ago like pretty much probably to the I'd, been, I'd been in this house for a month and a half and i've been like shit if we tried to get this house like a month and a half later because oh, immediately, yeah. immediately they pulled all the 95 percent mortgages straight away yeah yeah all the 95 percent here yeah and i was like oh shit like if we just waited a month later Mm, yeah. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy time. Just going back to being tracked at work, I've just noticed something that the ghost of a thousand said. Um, he said, Yeah, I won't mention my employer name, but we are tracked and we are a yellow dot that expands in size when we're standing still. I don't know Fuck where. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know where, what country you work in. I'd assume it's probably going to be either the UK or America, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's it's here. Well, I I had it when I was working in insurance. Like they tracked all your phone calls and that. So mm. yeah, when, that. on a call when you weren't. So I'd be like shimmying about. Yeah, <laughs> can't catch me with the dot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how long until it's like you know, 
you got a little chip in your head and it's like, well, if you go to red, we'll just turn your brain off and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got like, you know. Oh, wait. it's the, the more new technology comes out, it's just it's never used for greatness, is it? It's no. just used to like to make us more into the system to press yeah. us more. Like, yeah, I mean I just I just want to I just want to go and live in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You just see people trying not to daydream in an office because they just know if they do, they get literally just like just drop dead. Yeah, just like staring out of a maybe window. Be like you know, maybe that's sort of like something you could do, right? So it's sort of like you 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 give your eight hours a day to the company, but if you have this chip that can literally kill you, you get danger money. So it's like, you can come and work for us for £10 an hour, or we'll give you £50 an hour, but if you drop below a certain effort level, we God. will kill you. Yeah. You'd work, you'd graph, wouldn't you? Exactly, you would. Yeah. yeah. Literally, would. life would be on the line. Yeah. But it would be danger financially pay. reimbursed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I see this employee one two five nine has stopped for a breath um, for two seconds too long. Pull the plug. Yeah, oh, mate. It's I, I I seen it a few months ago when it came out in a coffee shop and it was like it was tracking how many people were serving doing coffees and 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 then I just thought, well, this is fucked. Like this, yeah. this is literally just you can't you, you know you, you can't trick AI. I'm sure there are, might, might be little ways around it, but uh, it gets, you know, it's clever in it. Yeah. <laughs> the nature of the beast. It is. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I can't remember what, I can't remember what year it is where it's meant to surpass our 27 intelligence. Oh uh, yeah. It's coming in. It, yeah. It's Jesus weird. Christ. It, it is weird. Cause like most of our things that we talk about now, there's always like an underlying AI, something there. I know we always, yeah. Like, other stuff but like i just feel that's where everything's kind of going yeah no it's true but it's just so weird i know we said this kind of treading over old ground but ai was like science fiction in movies mm. yeah and it's actually real mm. like they've actually so like yeah it's just fucking crazy oh dear we're all gonna die <laughs> <laughs> we'll die one day anyway but i think we're all gonna die by ai <laughs> I mean, it's a good possibility. I can't remember what, um, I can't remember, it's a collection of scientists, but they said there's like over a 25% chance that it could happen. <laughs> He's like, okay, yeah, that's shit. that's too high. Yeah, that's, that's too high. high. That's getting a yeah. bit high now. But, yeah. um, have, you, uh, have you seen that um, video of, it's open AI, but they've, they're doing all sh- sorts of shit. Um, they've got a robot that can now reason, like explain reasoning to you why it's done something. So I think they gave the example of this bloke had like a mock-up of a sink, a dish rack, a couple of dishes in front of it, and an apple. And he said, um, can you pass, I'm hungry, can you pass me something that would sustain me? Can I- I'm hungry. So the robot picks up the apple, passes it to the person doing the interview, and he said, can you explain to me why you just gave me this? And then the robot explained, that's because you said you were hungry. That is something you can eat. And he said, okay, good. And he said, can you tell me, based on these things in front of you, where should the plate go next? And the robot just thought about it for like two seconds, picks up the plate, puts it perfectly on the drying rack, and he does the same thing. Can you explain to me why you did that? And then the robot said, based on what was in front of me, that seemed like the good place for it at the time. And it's like, uh, how it's got literally gone from, mm. can you write me an article to now explain yeah. to me, where's the best place for a fucking plate to go? It's like, yeah, what yeah. The fuck? And although that seems like fairly trivial tasks, it's the, it's the method behind it, isn't yeah. it? It's working. The awareness. It's, it's yeah. working. Yeah. It's, it's working shit out of awareness. Yeah. Like, Although it knows those two things, it's probably aware now of like eighty percent of things that that yeah. you know, about humans because it's just got all the information. 
there. Yeah. It, it would just get better and better. Uh, and, and yeah. Better, which is... Why? Why have you uh, put that human in the ground? Well, it felt like the best place for it because the human keeps <laughs> destroying the planet. So, oh right, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. You got one when you said about reasoning. Tell me, you you've got one in your race that like doing all your stuff, and then you're having an argument with your missus, and it picks up on it, and you're like, look, machine. Based on what you've heard, <laughs> yeah, who's right? Who's right? And who is yeah. right? And then, uh, yeah, we'll find the truth, yeah. But what if it's like it gets so you know good with the reasoning? It's sort of like you know, we have these machines that we can tell or ask them to do all these mundane chores and shit for us, not to say they'd get bored, but you know, and then the, the robot kind of works out, well, hang on, this human keeps giving me chores to do. If there was no human, then I wouldn't have any tasks to do. <laughs> then it just gets rid of the human. I think there's just so many ways to yeah. look at it where the human gets <laughs> annihilated. Yeah. Oh, like you're just you're there, you're the robot's in your race, and then it's doing all your chores and that. And then it's just because I'm I'm going, I'm going to university. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to do this thing. I want to better my life. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You're I'm, you're my robot. Like, no, no, I, no. This is. I've worked out this is mundane, and uh, yeah, I want to go and do something else. Yeah, I'm going for an upload. So see I'm you later. I'm going traveling. See you later. Yeah, I'm going, tra- <laughs> going backpacking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed. Yeah, you're not allowed to insult no. me. I'm what would you do it. though? What is yeah. your... You not. Just, you can't. Just you like can't. imagine that refund. We just uh, we think there's going to be like they're going to kill us all, like all these movies, and they're just all backpacking, literally partying and backpacking. Yeah. Get out. Fucking brilliant. Uh, yeah. Well, that, I think that's the best case scenario, to be honest. Uh, yeah, at least yeah. if they don't kill us, they just all go backpacking. <laughs> all in Thailand. Um, and just yeah. meet each other. Oh, oh dear. Fucking well, hell. yeah. What a, what a trip down memory lane. Yeah. Good time, can, I, so. I, <laughs> can I just take on a massive tangent just to answer uh, Stuart's question? Is that all right? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Stuart asks, question for Jordan on football. How is Glenn Kamara doing at Leeds? I'm a Rangers fan and liked him a lot. Uh, he's fantastic. Uh, he's a starting 11 player, solid in midfield, terrified of shooting. He can literally be about six inches from the goal line and he will pass it to someone else. But yeah, no, great player, solid in midfield. Um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted, nice. to, that. I just wanted to get it out there before. There you go, Stuart. Question yeah. answered. You That's asked it. it and it was answered. It was answered. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, boys, for coming down a trip down a memory lane with me. Not a great yeah, memory. Trip to me. Yeah, it's a fucking COVID. Great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can all just you know talk about our PTSD. Yeah. It's great. But yeah, thank you for joining us, watching and listening wherever you are from. I hope you're having a good day. And we'll see you in the next one. Up the up. Bye bye for now. Hey, yeah. Uh...